Okay, good afternoon. Welcome to... Math number 1114. Math 1114. So I heard an interesting game today from a journalist named Felix Salmon. Yeah. Maybe we'll zoom in on the die when it comes. So here's what the game is. So you, you pay a certain amount of money. Whatever you decide. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you roll the dice. Die uh, n times. And also you decide n. Okay. Okay. So if if all rolls are not uh, a six, you get uh, two to the n times your dollars back. All right. If you get a six, six means zero. So you lose what you pay? Yeah. Okay. So a pretty simple game. Um, you, get a, you get to pick the rules here. Um, however much money you want to pay. Mm -hmm. Also how many times you want to roll. And uh, as long as you don't roll a six in those n rolls, you get two to the n times the amount of money you paid. If you get a six, I keep, I keep your money. Right. So uh, Felix, Felix's question is, well, what end do you want to pick, and how many dollars do you want to put in? All right. So before we play, uh, just tell me some things that you think would be considerations here. Well, I'm guessing that one a strategy would probably be to do to you could have like a high risk strategy of betting a lot of money and rolling a few times. Okay. Um, or maybe you could go low risk and pay a small amount of money but roll a lot of times and try to make it back with the amount of rolls that you have. Um, but we can try to calculate like probabilities based on general X's and N's. Okay. Um, but it's kind of, it's difficult when we don't know how many times we're rolling. Um, also, we have to we stop the roll as soon as we get a six, um, so we could maybe we probably would have to factor that in too. So the probability wouldn't be quite as straightforward. Uh, well, is there any probability that you think is going to be straightforward in here? I mean, just rolling one time. Okay. Is pre pretty straightforward. All right. What's how does that work? Um, well, you have five six chance of doubling your money and one six chance of losing your money. Okay. So that's pretty easy. Um, I'm not sure, are we trying to find like ideal amounts of money for no, each no, thing? No, it's not, we're not trying to find any ideal situation, we're just trying to find sort of what, what do you think the general considerations are and what would you think about. And, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure by the way that there is such a thing as an ideal answer to this. Hmm. Well, you want to, I guess, you want to keep, I think you want to keep your N small, um, because that decreases, um, or has a pretty, makes the chance that you would roll a six on, at any point, pretty small, and if you don't have a lot of opportunities to do so. Okay. Um, yeah, but like, like if we did, like, two rolls, um... You could roll a six on the first roll, or you could roll a six on the second roll, um, and both those are independent events. And that's, that's more obviously than just with one one roll. Right, so, what do you think your chances are of winning the game if you do n equals two? Uh, can I erase here. Yeah. So, so you have uh, one six chance on roll, roll roll one to win, and you have one six or to lose. And we're in six on roll two. Um, although this one six would be actually five six times one six, so you have to not roll six on roll one. All right. So what do you think so the chances of winning are there? Losing. So this is six thirty six plus five thirty six. So eleven thirty six. You lose, um, which means that twenty five thirty six. You win. Mm -hmm. um, compared to five six, which would be thirty. 36 for just one roll. Okay. 
Um, so maybe this is the way to look at it. We can calculate. Um, I mean, we we could try to calculate when your odds of winning go below one half. Okay, good. So let's. We've probably got five minutes. Let's go. Let's try to do that in the next game.